Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel, thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Today we're going to be doing the COLX 550. This is story <laughs> There's so many story cards, but this is a, I think this is going to be a good one. It looks like a modern day car and I think we're going to be alright here, so let's just see what can happen with this one, alright? Oh wow, that's a lovely colour. I like it. I actually like the look of this car. The worst part is, it looks good. And that means if it looks good, it's going to be a pile of old wank under the hood then. Let's get this in, shall we? Here we go. We have five pages of things to find. Oh, joys. And repair bodies. Just the headlights, that's not too shabby. Right, okay. Perform, head, uh, perform headlight alignment. Okay, cool. So, he wants it washed as well. Interesting. So, what I'm going to do is, first off, we'll go over to the body shop. And we'll pick up the front lights. There we go. So, there you go. Oh, new headlight. Oh. Right, okay, cool. So, what I actually want to do is I want to send this over to... I want to send this... Up. No. I want to send this over to the test path. Because if we can get it working, that's all good. So let's go to test path. Okay, so I can't get the engine started, which, I've got to be honest, sucks. Alright. So this means that there's something deeper inside this engine. I, I've taken off all the stuff I would have thought would have been it, but I can't find it, which blows goats. So, I'm going to have a look around through the car first. I don't... Th Genuinely, I think his main issues were just engine. I don't see a lot of problems with the actual like, bits of the car. If you know what I mean, I'm not seeing problems with brakes or like housing or anything. Even the rubber bushings are in good nick. I don't understand how this guy's not doing his car. So, I've already changed the battery, the idle... Oh, actually, that's probably why the reason why the, the car won't start. That is not the result I wanted. As you can see, piston rings need to be taken out. So this should work now. The engine car, it bloody well can. Okay, so things that I've changed putting already into this car. Uh, we've got the alternator, the battery, the ECU. The, these things I've changed, but if you look at this parts map, a lot of the stuff I can't find, which means it's all engine based. There's nothing really wrong with the car itself. And that's what I'm getting at. It's I think that everything is going to be within the engine, so I've got to strip it. So I'm going to break through the whole of the engine. I'll probably just skip it so you guys don't even have to watch this, because this is going to be boring, and I'll get back to you with a parts list straight away. <sighs> so there we go. Basically, we had to destroy the entire engine. Reason why is like, all five of these pages are engine stuff. You won't have to worry about going anywhere else. Everything you're looking for is in the engine. That's it. There's no tyres, no suspension, no nothing. It's literally just engine, okay? And obviously you need to do the fuses and and the fuel pump. And that's it. And it, it basically, it's take all the engine, make it work again. It's It's a long job for not a lot, if you know what I mean. You know you're going to be you're going to be doing a lot of work just to get this through. So it took me, I think it's taken me about 14 minutes to strip that down. So for all the people that are looking for a quick job, this just it might be that one for you. But then the problem is, is you've now got to either buy or repair all the parts, and then you've got to send it, and then you've got to put it all back together. So this mission all in all is going to take you about 40 minutes or so. But as said, it's all engine. You don't have to worry about going anywhere else in the car apart from the fuel pump down on the fuel tank apart from that it's all good actually i've got to be honest this is quite <laughs> it's quite easy but at the same time it's quite difficult because it's it's all engine based it's all fiddly little thing so yeah now what we're going to do is we're going to sit here we're going to repair all this stuff and um stick it all back in the car if we have to, if we have to buy stuff we have to buy stuff i mean by now you should be repairing mostly everything as long as you can as you can see, pretty much everything is done. Repair with parts or minimum condition at 72%. So anything 72% below, that's where we have to start like buying. So here. So anything 72% or below. So that's, that's actually not too bad. Some of the stuff is going to be like 75, so it's all good. And some of the stuff I've already done. So it actually doesn't work out too bad. Maybe I should have done like the whole car in one go, but we'll go from here. Um, I'm actually going to start from the spark plug. Just for giggles, really. Got all my parts ready to go. Now let's go and put this engine back together, shall we? Oh, here we go. Oh, I put a click on the wrong button. 
Here we go. Actually, while I'm here, quickly, I'll, I'll put all this stuff on first. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not sure why that didn't get ordered when I went through the entire parts. Look, I went through all this red stuff. Maybe I just didn't click that. That's not a problem. We can go to the shop. We can pick up another one. It's all good. So we'll go into here. We'll pick. We'll get rid of that. We'll click on that. We'll click on this. We'll buy this. Oh, yeah. An annoying quid now. That's not bad. All right, cool. Heart mount. Let's put the air filter back in first. Let's get all this clipped back up and ready to go. And then we've got to work on the engine. And the end, it's going to take a little while. So I get it. If, if people have left this video now that you guys know actually like what you're watching, or, you know, how you're actually doing this, what you're actually aiming for, then it's all good. I get it. You probably, you're not even listening to me right now. But for all those people that are still sticking around, thank you very much. It does mean a lot. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, notif notifications button below for all of the updates. And I will keep doing this. We'll uh, we'll get through every story mode. It's all good. Alright, that's most of the block done. Now we've just got to put all the timing belts and bits and pieces back on and then this is almost complete. It's, as said, this isn't a really massively long job. It's just a lot of parts need to be taken off just for those small things. It's, it's like I've said in previous videos when it comes to doing like the thing I'm not a big fan of. Oh, I need a new belt. The thing I'm not a big fan of is... Um, having to strip down an entire engine just to get hold of one piston and it's that thing that annoys me a little bit I, 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 well, it annoys me just on a personal level I mean I get other people who don't actually mind doing it you know it's the experience you get the joys of taking an, en an entire engine apart but for me it's like yeah I've got to spend all this time taking everything apart just for one little thing and then yeah, apart from that, it, this, uh, this actually isn't a bad mission for getting later into the game now, and it, it's alright. I can deal with this. 
All right, so because I'd probably skip through or sped up really fast, here is the parts list for this car. Dun, 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 All right, so we're going to go to the airfield alternator, arm V6B, battery belt tension, another cam gear, cam gear, cam gear, cam gear, so four cam gears, V6B, camshaft, you need all four of those for V6B, and the crankshaft, V6B. Crankshaft bearing caps, you need two of those, the crankshaft poly v V8. The ECU Type A, the exhaust manifold V6B, the flywheel, the fuel pump, the fuel rail V6B, and another fuel rail V6B, and an idle roller B. Next, we're going to move on to the medium fuses A. You need three of those, two B and one C, an oil filter, and lots of piston rings. Then you need the power steering pump V6B, and then you need the relay Type A, B, 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 C, 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 and rod cap, rod cap. And you basically six rod caps, two serpentine belt A's V6Bs, one throttle V6B, and a water pump v 6 B. Then you need to replace the two panels, well, the panels, I say they're lights, left and right headlight, which is all good, change the oil and other tasks. Basically, put stuff back in and then realign the headlights. So, I, uh, so now I'm going to fill up on liquids, because we need to fill up all the liquids back into the car, because, well, we took them all out, just in case we took, well, because I take the whole engine apart, you empty this. It's all good. So we need to go back to the test path. Um, and whilst I'm here, I'm actually going to do this because, well, it's not straight. It's always worth checking this because, I mean, it's not. It doesn't cost you any money to check this, and you never know. It goes to. It might go towards bonuses and everything else. So, it's all good. So they're done. They're done, and they are done. Right. Okay. Cool. So we are pretty much done. 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 And done. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Right, let's have a look. We're gonna get paid twelve thousand nine hundred and thirty-four for this. This puts me up to like twenty-five, twenty-six grand now. So we didn't do too badly. And I'm gonna be honest, actually wasn't too bad. Mainly engine stuff, so it was actually it was actually fairly manageable, which was alright. Now I did overspend on a few bits and pieces, and this is because actually it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. But what the reason why I overspent on a few bits is just in case. You know, I always buy a few bits here and there just for everything else so guys thank you very much for joining me if you have enjoyed this video by the way don't forget to hit the like subscribe notification button below for all other updates i'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else i do on this channel it's been awesome to have you guys here thank you very much for kicking by and if you do want to hit that little join button underneath pay this channel a couple of pound a month and that goes towards feeding two hungry little kids so thank you very much for kicking by i'll see you in another one peace out have fun and enjoy everything you guys do bye bye for now